We say it all the time. Houston is a great big melting pot of cultures. We have the largest group of expat Nigerians more than any other American city. And our first guest is one of Nigeria's biggest stars. When she's back home, she's a judge on that country's version of The Voice. While on break from that show, she's on tour in the U.S. and Canada with her high-powered hip-hop Afrocentric beats. You were expressive. I don't know if you even did a backflip or something, but you were so excited in your delivery, and that is what I love. Thank and there's you. so much you can do together. Yeah. Welcome to the team, <laughs> Yemi Alade. <laughs> Please welcome Yemi Alade to Grace Day. Good morning. Wow. Good morning. Oh, we had so much fun in the office listening to your music, and we were like, yeah, we're moving. And, the, and that's what's so great about the beats, so and we'll get into that in a second. But okay. uh, let's start off with who you are, because you're kind of new to a lot of us in America. Yes. Um, you're the fifth of seven children. Yes, I am. You had to do something to stand out, didn't you? Yeah, I don't know what I did, but I just, I just, I'm just me. I don't know what I did. <laughs> you, don't, yeah, you don't know what you no, did. No, I have no idea. You grew up in several Nigerian cities, and I want to back up and talk about Nigeria. Uh, I think a lot of people are confused about what Africa is. First of mm. all, it's not a country. No, it's, it's a, not. It's a big continent with a whole bunch of countries, yes. right? But tell us what Nigeria is like, because you get this a lot, where people think, um, okay, it's all jungle, and, and you had a pet lion growing up. Wow. <laughs> I think I've never seen a lion. Like, I, I went to Kenya hoping to see animals, and mm -hmm. I saw a lot of animals, but I never saw a lion. I never, I think I was too scared. Well, we have the Houston Zoo down here. You can probably see one. Oh, wow. Right. Okay, yeah. fantastic. Yeah. So we brought, they came yeah. on the ship yeah. as well? Yeah, they came OMG. on the ship. OMG, wow. Came over. Okay, great. But the thing is that in Nigeria, there's so many places that have high rise buildings. There's so many beautiful places. We have malls, we have escalators, elevators, everything. Yeah. <laughs> yes. It's not, it's, it's not about the jungle and about, you know, and all that. Civilization is taking over. So, like, pretty much anything that you have here, we got it there. Yeah. All right. You're known as the Yoruba Igbo girl. Yoruba Igbo girl. Yoruba but you tried. Igbo I got girl. you. I tried. I yes. tried. Yoruba Yes. Igbo. Girl. Yes, baby. Okay, That's your culture. You remember, remember, I was trying to give you a new name? Yeah, she was. Because she, I'm like, look, a lot of us aren't in touch with our African roots once we cross the ocean. So I'm like, she, I'm like I, I may as well be Nigerian. So I'm going to be Nigerian. So give me my name. You look very Nkechi ish. Now, Nkechi is an Igbo name from the eastern part of Nigeria. It means God's own. Oh, look at that. And we're talking about Igbo and Yoruba. And yeah. so, like, what are those? Are they, are they tribes? Yes. Are they, okay. Yes, they're tribes. Yoruba is from the southern part of Nigeria. Igbo is from the eastern part of Nigeria. My mom is from the Igbo side. My dad is from the Yoruba side. So I have Yoruba and Igbo names. So Yemi Eberechi. Okay. Yeah. You graduated from the University of Lagos in 2010 yes. with a degree in geography. Yes. Uh, one other thing about the culture. You know, there are several cultures around the world where uh, STEM, science and technology also is very important very, for you to major in. So yeah. when you were saying, I think I want to be a singer, what were your parents saying? You know what? I never told them I wanted to be a singer. <laughs> And not like it's a culture, but it's a thing for us in Nigeria and Africa. Education is very, very important. Mm -hmm. Like you said, because we had a little chit chat backstage. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you know, right from the womb, you're already going to school. Yeah, right. <laughs> it, it's that important. You're in so college like, in the womb. So I never you have to declare your major by the time you come out. <laughs> exactly. So like, I never had the opportunity to say, oh, I wanted to be an artist. Mm -hmm. I just realized people love to make me sing, and I love doing it anyways. But I never wanted to be an artist until I was almost done my university. Yeah. Well, this is where the brain kicks in because she sings in English, French, Portuguese, Swahili, and Pigeon English. So it's kind of one of those things that accidentally but not really accidentally happens, you know, right? So yes. you're performing because you love it, which is what people should do. I think so some, some many times people look at the end game and think about the fame and the money mm. as opposed to, do you enjoy doing what you're doing? Yeah, I think, I always say, I think I know the day when I look at my story and I look from where I'm coming, look back at where I'm coming from, I can see that music just chose me. It wasn't a thing where I had to choose music. Music, music chose me and it stood by me. And yeah. I'm happy that I'm fulfilling my dreams. And I'm right here on your show with yes. all these beautiful people. Yeah. Texas and Houston. Yeah. Yes. And the girl group was called the Naughty Spices. Yes. Oh. We weren't nutty. Oh, sure you weren't. Sure we you weren't. weren't. Nutty. Uh -huh. Now, why the Naughty Spices? Where did that name come from? Okay, now. There were Spice um, Girls, but then y'all were Naughty Spices. Let me tell you what I really, what I really, really want. No! <laughs> it wasn't like that. Okay.
Okay, so it's spelled N O T Y. Oh. So the itch itch letter stands for like the first word or one of the letters in our name. So yeah. like the Y there obviously is Yemi. The N was for non, so O was for um, it was for I can't even remember now. Oge and T was um for Itiola. So that's how the oh that's you know, how it came naughty. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, you clean that up real good. Okay. Um, <laughs> Sometimes when we love singing, you know, we don't think we're that great. But you had a friend that uh, encouraged you to audition for a talent show. She had to encourage you to do it? Babes, like really, I don't how I don't know how how that happened, but we all gained admission into different universities, and so the musical group kind of took like a natural dive. It never flew, and then she came around when I was in university and was like, "What are you doing with your talent? You're just sleeping on this bed and going to school." I said, "I'm focusing on my education." <laughs> you're just going to college. You're just what are you going doing? To college. What are you doing with the talent? <laughs> and then she's like, she went, she goes online, she feels a form, and she's like, "You must go." And I'm like, well, it's okay. Let me just go. And I, I was just surprised how out of um, over eight hundred thousand people. I emerged the winner of the talent show. Like yes. every step forward was like a <laughs> it was like a surprise. Yeah. And by this time your parents knew. They Are they still kind, <laughs> well, they didn't know my, my brothers my elder brothers knew when I'd got into like semi final stage. Uh -huh. And then my parents knew when I was at the final. <laughs> <laughs> and then you won. And then I won, yeah. and they were there. My dad was so happy. You know, people were surprised that he even let me do stuff like that. Because my dad was a policeman. You know, very prim and proper, very serious guy. And his daughter wants to be an artist. What you want to do there? <laughs> You became a bona fide star with your single, Johnny, in 2013, which had 71 million YouTube and um, Vivo views. You've won several awards. Uh, your new EP is Mama Afrique. And what's so cool about this music, I, I think I told you in the green room, I said it almost sounded very Caribbean, but then again, we forget a lot of the Caribbean roots come from Africa. True that. True that, she said. True that. <laughs> right. You're working on your third album and uh, shooting music videos here in the U.S. What yes. is your opinion of America? America. America is a land of dreams. Like, um, even when we, I'm from Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Nigeria is in Africa. And when you're when you're when you're drawing your global map, your prowess, where you want to get to, mm -hmm. you can't skip America. Yeah. You can't skip it. It's not possible. I've waited so long to actually do my tour, my musical tour, because I'm on tour right now. Mm -hmm. We've been to Oakland, been to LA. We've done Houston, which was just a few days ago. Yeah. Um, our next stop would be New England. We have like. 11 more venues to be at because I have to get back to Nigeria and continue, you yeah. know, the voice the Nigeria. Voice, yeah, she does the voice Nigeria, you know, as I mentioned so earlier. You can't keep America. Yeah. And, and the beauty, I think the beauty of America is is, is not in its, um, it's actually in its, in, in its multiculturalism. That's the beauty and of America. And Houston being the most diverse part yes. of the country. Yes, and I'm really happy to, to be here and actually be on this show. Like, it means a lot to me. And shout out to everyone who's watching and my mom, she's watching too. <laughs> Line. Yes, is this I your, do. Yours right here? Yes, definitely. So I actually did this in collaboration with another Nigerian um, designer. Her name is Amarellis. But my um, fashion line is called House of Tangerine, aka Hot. Hot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very cool, very fun. Yeah. All right, what's my name again? I forgot. Inkechi. Inkechi. Please tell everyone to get my album, my Mama yes, Afrique fact, album. You want to hear her right now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So why don't you go on over there and get ready? For more information on Yimmy's new EP, Mama Afrique, we have a link on our site, greatdayhouston.com. She just handed me all three of her CDs. I'm going to be jamming in the car. If you see me going down the highway, ask me. All right, so now here she is with a medley of her songs, Africa Kissing and Johnny. Hey. Anywhere you go, London, USA, nowhere be like Africa, nowhere be like home. Anywhere you go, New York, Chicago, nowhere be like Africa, nowhere be like home. Be go where you Everybody, come on. Kwayaka, karibu kiti, utapewa nini, biko weru ya wayo. Kwayaka, karibu kiti, utapewa nini, yeah. 
We're about to turn the tempo up just a little bit. We're getting there. Let me hear you say, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, listen. Baby, me and you, sitting on a tiri. K-I-S-S-I-N-G, kissing. <laughs> Baby, me and you, sitting on a tiri. K I S S I N G Imani Saramboro Iwarambo Aramboro You make me feel like I I I I My melody Saramboro Warana Waramboro You make me feel like I I I Let's do this for the French people Bebe Toi et moi, assis sous un arbre. Sing it. K I S S I N G. Yes. Bebe, toi et moi, assis sous un arbre. Sing it. K I S S I N G. That's it. Yeah. Basco César Amboro. Tu arambo arambo. Tu m'en fais sentir. Let's go, salsa people. Let's go. All right, let's go. Yeah. If you're with me, say yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Woo. All right, this is one of my most famous hits. Let's go. I said, I'm looking for my Johnny. I'm looking for my honey. You're telling me this, telling me that. I said, this is not for me. I said, Johnny, do me Connie. Johnny, he do me conny. I said he's doing me this and he's doing me that. But I will not tell mommy. He go Canada, he go Tokyo. Yes, he day, he say, he day Morocco. He dance the Siko, he sing a willow, na line, na line, na Pinocchio. This one, na go be, go be, go be. Originally go be, original go be. What? Johnny, leave me for Lo Cynthia. And I don't know what to do. I need to say I no do one. Like the way Cynthia they do. Johnny, give you chebele. Talk say one marine. Woken keddy feneme. Johnny Mo, Johnny Mo. I'm looking for my Johnny. Eh, 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 eh. Where is my Johnny? Johnny Moe. 